We're starting to get a fault on our alarm system uh, with the letter P, and I'm pretty sure this happened before, and it means that that battery is no good, needs to be replaced. I'm going to try to remove this one one-handed. You have a positive and negative wire connected. Be careful I don't knock a wire off. All right, how about if I just twist it like this? Negative and positive, so those are removed. Here's the old battery. You can see that I replaced it December 10th, 2013, close to 10 years ago. Here's the new one. I just bought off of Amazon for 25 bucks plus tax, I think, one day delivery. If you're really smart, you'll look at these terminals on your battery before you buy your new one. These are 3 16 the new one are quarter inch. This is no big deal for me. I happen to have the hardware. I have to cut off the other lugs and put these on and then I'll be in business. Let's measure the voltage on the new battery. It's 12.78 volts. I'll measure the voltage on this one after it sits for a while. It's going to have a surface charge on it right now, having just been removed. 11 volts. It's a little bit low. Old lugs. New lugs are crimped on and slipped onto the battery. This is an EverPower something or other. Slide the battery in. Lock that guy back up. 